Hello, I'm Per. In this video we're going to visit Gripsholm Slot, the Gripsholm Castle. A beautiful and very interesting castle in the small city Mariefred, next to the Great Lake Manor. The construction of this castle was commenced in 1537 and more or less completed in 1545, although some construction works continued into the late 16th century. Gustav Vasa was born in May 1496. He led the revolution against Denmark, became king of Sweden in June 1523 and ruled the country until his death in September 1560. The construction of the Gripsholm castle was commissioned by King Gustav Vasa and commenced in 1537. The castle was meant to serve as a fortress in the defense against both foreign and domestic threats. As it was made of bricks, the construction required a large force of bricklayers. The construction was more or less completed in 1545, but some construction works continued throughout the rest of the 16th century and several improvements were made. The Gripsholm castle has also been used as a prison. Ironically, two of Gustav Vasa's sons, Erik XIV and Johan III, have both been imprisoned here as well as some other prominent people and some prisoners of war. First, King Erik XIV locked up his younger brother Johan here. Erik was dethroned in 1568 because of alleged mental illness. Johan became King Johan III and locked up Erik in the same castle. Erik was later moved to another castle where he died in 1577 probably as the result of intoxication by arsenic that had been put in his food. So although they were brothers, Erik and Johan obviously did not love each other. These two cannons, called the boar and the sow, stand in the outer courtyard of the Gripsholm castle. They were seized from the Russians on two different occasions, in the Battle of Narva in 1581 and the Battle of Ivangorod in 1612. They were brought to Gripsholm in 1623. The two cannons are similar but not identical. This German lady, Hedwig Eleonora, was born in 1636 and died in 1715. She married King Karl X in 1654 and was the Queen of Sweden until his death in 1660. Hedwig Eleonora was a brave woman who followed her husband on his military campaigns, for example to Poland. When the king died in 1660, Hedwig Eleonora stepped down from the throne and got the Gripsholm castle as part of her alimony. She had some significant changes made to the castle, for example replacing the old roof of bricks with a new one made of copper. This portrait hangs at the Gripsholm castle. This is Gustav III, born in January 1746. He was king of Sweden from February 1771 to March 1792 when he was assassinated. Gustav III liked to spend time at Gripsholm. Like his parents, King Adolf Fredrik and Queen Lovisa Ulrika, Gustav III was very interested in theatre and he wrote his own plays. Uh, the magnificent Drottningholm Theatre next to the Drottningholm Palace was not enough for him so he commissioned the construction of a new theatre here at the Gripsholm Castle. This theatre was built during the years 1781 and 1782. Like other Swedish kings before him, Gustav III had to deal with the Russian Empire. This painting at the Gripsholm Castle shows the Battle of Hogland, an island in the Gulf of Finland in the eastern part of the Baltic Sea on July 17, 1788. The Russian naval force was bigger than the Swedish, but the Russians lost twice as many men as the Swedes, about 600 to about 300 for the Swedes. 
The battle came to a draw, but the Russians managed to prevent the Swedes from reaching St. Petersburg. The Gripsholm Castle is home to the National Swedish Collection of Portraits, which was founded in 1820 and contains more than 5,000 paintings from the 16th century to the 20th century. This collection is managed by the National Museum in Stockholm. This is a portrait of our current king, Carl XVI Gustav, the seventh king of the Bernadotte dynasty. Visitors to the Gripsholm Castle can take a guided tour walk around by themselves or do golf. I recommend that you start with a guided tour and then go back and take a second look at the rooms and the items that you think were the most interesting. One thing that struck me about the Gripsholm Castle is how many small and quite cozy bedrooms there are here. They almost make you want to take a nap. Two rune stones have been placed in front of the castle. Uh, this one was found inside the castle in 1827. It had been used as a threshold and was covered with tar. It tells the story of Ingvar, a Viking king who lived in the 11th century. So if you're going on vacation in Stockholm, if you're interested in history and if you like to visit old castles, I recommend that you make an excursion to the Gripsholm Castle. That's all for this time. Thanks for watching.